morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening. I'm like blessing you. We say good whatever it is from wherever you're hearing us from. Yeah, I can see the fingers in the air. I can see the high five. I can see the thumbs up. Uh, great. It's a, it's um an indication that you can hear me loud and clear. And why am I seeing so much? Much energy, like so much energy with the thumbs up. Uh, it shows that um, from Monday morning up until now, we've been pumped up. So much has happened, and yeah, you can keep 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 throwing those um those fingers in the air. Keep doing the thumbs up. Um, you are doing the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, clap. Yeah, put your hands together for all our facilitators from Monday for blessing you for Bolanli. For Madu, Maduya, for Akin, um, from for Leo, for Juan, yeah, for OJ, for James, yeah, come on, um, those guys they formed a lot into us, um, since the beginning of this week, and um, interestingly, um, I can tell you that uh, the next couple of uh, minutes, um, is about to be another money power pack um experience again so um let me officially welcome you to day four of um our induction program for zero to techie um interestingly interestingly um this morning session is going to be our last time uh, session for the induction program after which um we would be going into the field proper, and then um, you would be seeing, you'd be interfacing with um, a couple of us as um, your instructors and your guide during this um, next six months of um, rigorous, um, rigorous, rigorous um, transformation, where you'll be getting to build competencies, you would be um, developing skills and you would be um, positioning yourself to be the very best in this new phase of your life. So welcome, just like you all know, my name is Victor and um, um, by virtue of um, the pattern that has been passed by the one at the top, I would be um, the administrator of um, today's um, induction program. And um, interestingly, our facilitator this morning is here. Um, yesterday, we learned about um, blogging our CEO Academy journey through LMS. And um, this morning, um, we would um, be taking it a top higher as um, blessing Ojubeli would be taking us through a very interesting subject, um, which is navigating the skill academy, which is navigating the skill academy. Um, and um, we would be um, getting to hear from Blessing on how we can um, have the best um, session, the best experience um, using um, um, Seal Academy's LMS um, system. So, um, without any further ado, blessing. Good morning. Can you hear me? Blessing. Oh, I can see blessing you is on the call. Good morning, blessing you. Want to still hear me? Yeah, I can see hear you. Um, I see blessing is not connected to audio, so she might want to um, have a look at the audio connections. All right. Yeah. Okay, that is popping up on my screen already now. Good morning, blessing you. Good to see your face again this morning. Good morning, and good to see everyone again today. It's a more relaxed day. It's Friday, so yeah, we should have fun. Hopefully, at some point. Yes. So um, blessing, uh, blessing you. Um, why we get um, blessing O on the call? Okay, now it's blessing he. Two blessings on the call. Why we get um. The female version of blessing on the call. Can you just um tell us um um can you just give us um a quick um flow of what 
what um, we would be experiencing um, on the call today? Wow, good question. What are we going to be experiencing on the call today? I think um, when my name is back on audio, she would be telling us a bit about um, the learning management system. So we have a, um, a learning management system for you wherein you will be taking your courses. You'll be an account to be created for every one of us that have qualified to begin the program. And then the courses will be published and you would be able to start to take your courses one after the other. Um, also, I'm expecting a recap session today. I, I wasn't in the recap practice yesterday, so I don't know how that went, Victor, but I'm happy to go with the flow today. Um, that recap session should kind of try to cement for every one of us what we've been talking about all week long, okay? And I'm also expecting at some point before 12 p.m. today, I hope to have a list of those that have qualified to begin the program. Interestingly, it's not going to be everybody that's qualified to begin the program, right? Um, we're not taking qualifications from today because today is recap, right? If you've not been attending since Monday and then you've only attended today, well, you've really not attended, have you? Because we're not giving, apart from the LMS, which you all still get my exposure to, we are not giving any extra information today. So I expect yesterday the data engineers have done their magic and they've collated the data on the attendance and there should be a report, which I haven't seen yet, but I would see before to know how many students are going to begin module one next week, hopefully. And not only that, those students will start to get an email tomorrow. I think from tomorrow, you start to get emails that would welcome you into the academy formally in readiness for module one. So this, these are the sort of things I'm kind of thinking would happen today, um, Victor. Is there anything I've missed out or any other one you want me to particularly expand upon? I'm not, not sure you've missed out anything from um, my end. And um, I, I was just trying to get in touch with um, Blessing Ujugoli and um, since um, our network providers are being um, and not really um, working through. So let me quickly just see um, the engagements we have in the chat room and let's um okay. let's start rolling from there um so um Ulu, shall i say it's been an amazing time the sessions have been great looking forward to a wonderful time today oh yes trust us brace up for um that session will all sessions be done on zo or is it only for the induction the induction is only uh, being held on zo just like um, we've um, communicated over time um the various um um activities will be carried out by Slack channel and um, also on LMS, which um, those who are qualified would be getting um, an account created for them for um, their use. Um, good morning. Uh, you see, did you see Olubide, Victor? Olubide is saying okay. it's Thursday where, where he or she is. <laughs> okay. I think it's also Thursday where I am. Are we missing okay, something? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, Blessing, blessing is um is is a is um someone is always on the move, so we never can tell if um if perhaps was he's sending his greetings from another part of the world entirely different from us. So okay, I apologize. It's, it's definitely Thursday. Also Thursday today. Yeah, he is. All right, so we're on the same. It's definitely Thursday. I I apologize, but yeah, the program does end today. At least that one, I'm not confused on. Right, induction, <laughs> induction <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Thank you. Um, thank, you. thank you for everything. Please, are we going to be taught how to attract foreign clients? Oh my God! Um, where you at a Mabuya session? Um, two days ago, because um, Mabuya is um in a region in South Africa, and um, he's interacted and interfaced with um different level of um clients different i mean i mean let me just say something to you people you didn't hear it from me you didn't hear it from me 
um, there is someone on this call on, on this call who um, had a session with us on Monday, and that session was not held in Nigeria. And um, literally, he's not in, he, he's been interfacing with different um, he's interfacing from different time zone. So um, you you are you are not um, you are not being raised. Let me use that word to be a local champion. <laughs> They are not being raised to attract clients from just Maiduguri or Kano if in Nigeria. And, and um, you are not just being raised to raise clients from um, Accra or um, just those hubs. You are going, you are go, we're raising global, um, um, global personnel, global, global, global staffs. Does missing just a session disqualifies one from being considering? For the program oh joshua fear not when you get the when you get the mail you would be able to validate that but i'm telling you joshua you're in good you're in good hands um okay um yeah Doreen, i see you you are eager and ready to change from zero to decade we can't wait to receive you also we can't wait to receive you um Listen, you knew there was um there was a subject that was discussed during the course of um during the course of the training and um um it got me reflecting and I would want you to speak to that bit quickly. Um how um oh okay, not necessarily discussed, but there was something I, I saw um that was um quite um across the various speakers and beyond the um the um what is what is that thing? Beyond the technical skills there was um um sub two emphasis on um behavioral attitude um mindset um and they, they're not just coming to tell us um python sql devops and all of that i mean um do you uh, it's, it, it, it seems um those um parts of those kind of skills are integral to um the journey um to the journey of being a techie, do you want to speak to that? Um, if you could personalize it and just give um our, our participants a, a bigger view, because I know many people are expecting um quite a percentage um maybe um might just want to hear Python, Java, DevOps, AWS, and it seems like when they are not hearing this thing, they are almost turned off the the session. So um just speak to that quickly before I hand over to Blessing. Oh, she's on the call. Yes, um, I'm going to be quick on that. I see blessing, blessing. O has um found audio now also. So yeah, hi Nemi. Yeah, true. Yeah, I would probably talk about this again later during the program. Okay, towards the end of it, and uh, there's a reason why the sessions on Tuesday for me are some of the best sessions. That HR session on how you learn, the psychology of learning and other things. But to speak to what you've just said, if you're going to be successful. There are three acronyms you want to keep. K S A. Okay. Knowledge, skill, attitude. Okay. If you have those three well lined up, you will succeed no matter what you're trying to do. Knowledge, skill, attitude. Knowledge is how you know, okay, that fruit and vegetables are good for your health. Skill is how you go and find them and eat them. Attitude is how you continue, even when you think, oh God, I don't feel like eating stuff, this stuff today. You go, no, I'm going to definitely go and eat it. The same way, knowledge is how you know the gym works for you. The gym is going to keep you healthy. Or running on the street, you know, doing exercise is going to keep you healthy. Skill is that you started doing exercise. One day ago, I was able to do two press-ups. Today, I'm doing 13 um, push-ups or press-ups. That's skill. Attitude is, gosh, I don't feel like doing any press-up today, but uh, I'm going to push on it. So those three things are what makes everyone you see around you speaking to you today. It's what has put us where we are. You might have knowledge, but if you don't hands-on on that knowledge and practice it out, you don't have skill. There is a gap. You might have knowledge and you practice hands-on and you get the skill and experience, but your attitude fails you. Okay, I was just talking to someone in my morning stand up before I joined this call. We had a morning stand up and I said to them, Attitude is what I'm looking for. You want to change stuff, go and change it. I've given you control. Don't come and ask me for permission. Okay, so it is the ability for you to have attitude like being able to.
change things, be resourceful, find things, research, ask the right questions, do things. Those sort of attitude keeps you successful. So knowledge, skill, attitude, but we'll talk about that again somewhere further down the program. This is just to give it a quick recap. Thank you, Victor. I mean, German, Lagos Business School coaches will not do more than this. Forbes coach or whatever would not do more than this. Forbes, coach, um, Forbes Council of Coach, whatever. I mean, KSA, knowledge, skills, and attitude. Thank you very much, Blessing. We don't want that um, while we get to um, our money business um, with Blessing Ujubeli taking us on navigating the SEAL Academy elements. Blessing, good morning. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Good morning. Great. Good to have you on the call. Um, we um, this is the time where I pass the button over to you. Over to you, Blessing. Take us through to this, this morning. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Victor. Thank you so much for holding it down. Um, okay, so I'm going to get straight into today's business, which is navigating the SEAL Academy LMS. And I'd love to do a demo because I, do, I don't just want to say a lot of things, say a bunch of things, but I also want to show you, you know, how to navigate the LMS. But before we get right into the business of today, I usually like sessions like this to be interactive. Um, so I'd like to ask a few questions just to, be, just to be sure that we are all on the same page, right? Um, okay, so does anyone know what an LMS is? If you do, you could just drop it in the um, Q&A section. I just want to make sure everyone is following. So if you've used an LMS before, if you come across one, if you've had to use one before, just indicate Q&A. Okay. Um, Victor, can you still hear me? Loud and clear, blessing. I can still hear you. All right. Yes, a learning management system. So, yeah, thank you very much, Ibiniza. An LMS is a learning management system, and probably it's been mentioned at one point or the other during the course of the induction. But at Seal Academy Zero to Techie program, you will be taking your courses using a learning management system. So basically it's a trading portal that allows us to enroll you as users. And then once you've been enrolled, you can go on the LMS to take your courses. So throughout the duration of the program, throughout the next six months, from module one down to module eight, you'll be taking courses on the LMS. Now, if you'll be taking courses on the LMS, it's important that you know how to navigate the LMS, you know, how to find your courses, you know how to sign up on the LMS, which is what this entire session is going to be about. But very briefly before we go into navigating the LMS itself, I just want to explain some things to you about the Steel Academy LMS. So aside the fact that you're going to be taking your program, the Zero to Techie program on the LMS, we have other, other programs on the LMS, other learning parts on the LMS. But your entire focus for all of you on this call mostly is going to be finding your way to the zero to techie program on the LMS and, and taking your courses there. So that being said, we can now move on into how you can navigate the LMS. Um, so you, you can navigate the LMS in these very simple steps. We have about five of them. So the first step is to put this um, URL in your, in your browser. So we are going to send you a mail with the URL. So all you just need to do is to click on it and it will take you directly to the SEAL Academy portal, right? So when you get to the SEAL Academy portal, the next thing you would want to do is to click on login and register. Now you're a first time user, right? You're a first time user. So you cannot automatically sign in, right? You would have to sign up. So we are onboarding you automatically. So when we send you an email, we'll also send you a default password. Right, so when you when you navigate to you, I'm going to show you a demo if I can share my screen after I'm done with everything I need to say, I'll, I'll show you a demo so you see everything I'm saying. So after you're done with, when you click login and register, it will give you a prompt, still Academy, you tap on it or you click on it in this case, right? Then you impute your email address, the email address that you've used to register. 
after you put in your email address, we'll give you a default password. Like I said, we will send you an email at the end of today's induction, probably tomorrow or most likely today. So when you get your email, your email will come with the um, URL that you put in your portal, you put in your browser or that, that will take you to the portal, right? Then it will also, we'll also give you a default password. Now you have to put in your email address and your default password, right? So when you put in your default password, it will, it will give you a prompt, right? This prompt is for you to, to reset your password because we don't expect you to always, you know, use the default password every time you want to sign in. So we're giving you a default password so you can change the default password to your own personalized password. Now, once you change it, every time you want to log into the LMS, you should log in with your email address and your new password. Remember I said that. When you put in the default password, you are supposed to change the default password into your new password, right? So when you do that, every time you want to log in, you want to take your courses, you want to do anything on the LMS, you log in using your email address and your new password. So please remember to always do that every time you need to log in, right? So now that we have gone through that, the next step will be, how do you find your programs? How do you find your courses on, on the SEAL Academy LMS? Remember I said already that throughout the duration of the program, you most likely will be taking, at least 90% of your courses, will, you, you have to take them on the LMS. So how do you find the LMS? Um, you go to, I will need to show you this, but let's just talk about it first. So you will see um, more, you click on more, and then you go to programs. Under programs, you will find zero to techie. When you click on zero to techie, you will see two learning tracks. You see cloud, and then you see data, right? So if you are being onboarded into the cloud engineering into the cloud engineering specialization, you click on cloud engineering to find your cloud engineering courses, or you click on data engineering to find your data engineering courses, whichever it is you're taking. So once you click on this real security program, you will find your specialization there and you click on it. And then you can, you, when you click on it, you see the modules. If you're in module, if you're still in module one, of course you see module one courses. And as you progress, you begin to see more courses from module one down to module eight, right? So basically, very simple to find your courses click on more click on programs zero to techie and then you click on your specialization All right so now that that has been said we'll move on to the next thing you should do once you're on the lms because this entire package is to get you started and ready to take your courses um, so the next thing you want to do the next thing you want to do is to you know also um edit your profile you want to edit your profile too because once you get signed it's to take you for the first time take you to your profile page so you want to put in those important information put in your name put in your your name and things like that right on your profile so if you have the time it's not mandatory but if you have the time you may want to work on um customizing your profile page so that brings us to the end of this presentation but like i said earlier i would love for us to do a demo just so that everything that has been said, you can see it and it's busy for you to try it out once you need to um, sign up on the LMS. So, um, Emeka, I'd like to share my screen now. Right, I think I can now. Okay, so remember I said we'll send you. Remember I said we will send you a. We'll send you a, a URL. I already have mine here. So when you want to log in, before I even continue, can you see my screen? Okay, okay. So I can go ahead. So remember I said you'd have to. Screen is off. Sorry? Your screen is off. Your screen is off. All right. Thank you. Remember, I said that you would have to log in first, right? So I'm, I'm logged in already, but let me see if it is going to work. So when you log in, you click on Seal Academy, right? 
and then you put in you put in no let's let me log in with this one just so that i can properly show you what you should expect okay so i'm going to put in my my um my email address now And then I'll put in the default password. Let's see if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, I'll show you the other method. Yeah, so you see, when I put in the default password, automatically a prompt has come up for me to change my password. So now you can now put in whatever password you want to. Um, let me try. Like my password is not matching. <laughs> I'm terrible with passwords, so we're going to try again. Yeah, so it works. So now you can now change your password. All right. So basically, when, once we give you a default password, we give you a default password and you just use your email address and your default password. Once you put in the email address and your default password, the next thing you will see is a prompt to change your password. So it is important you have to change your password. Default password is not something you're supposed to use throughout the program. It's just to get you onboarded into the LMS. So please, please, please try to change your password immediately so you don't have like issues um, much later so once you um signed remember i said this is the prompt you see you would want to fill this up add your name your last name and whatever information that is required this is not mandatory but yeah it's something that you should do you should do now for you to find your courses um you see, when you go on program, you see the list of courses that we have. But this is not the page you will see. So I want us to go. I want to show you the page that you likely would see. Once I just wanted to show you the part of what it's going to be like when you, you know, when you're signing up for the first time. So let me go to the actual page that you would see. So once you are signed in, once you go to more, you will see zero to techie, right? So when you click on zero to take you, you see the programs that we currently are offering on the LMS, right? So if you're taking cloud, cloud engineering, you click on cloud engineering and you find your courses here, right? So as you progress, you begin to see more courses, module one, module two, three, four, down to the end, right? And if you're taking data engineering, all you just need to do is to click the click on it and you'll find your courses, your data engineering courses, right? So that brings me to the end of my demo. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And obviously I'm going to be taking questions. So if you have any question, I think now is the time to, to ask. Okay, someone is raising their hand. Let me check the queue. A. Yeah, I can't seem to find any questions in the Q&A. But... We have questions for, for Blessing O. Um, I know some of you might be wondering, why are you calling Blessing O? So we have two blessings on the call, just like I mentioned. 
we have blessing you. <laughs> She's laughing. We have blessing you, and we have a blessing oh So um, so we don't just call blessing and both of them appear. Uh, we try to just um, do that distinction. All right. Do you have any questions about the learning um learning management system that we would be using um for our programs? I understand um the session um is quite brief. You would be getting ends on um information for those who would be getting onboarded in the next couple of hours in the next couple of days um if you have any questions for blessing or you can um, use the chat room to ask a question remember you want to go through um blogging us um our journey um through lms so this is the lms you'd be using if you want to blog your journey i mean if you want to reach a wider a wider audience through writing and all of that and um, wisdom and um, for everyone who gave topics yesterday remember joan said you should come back in two months time and blog on your topics and uh, we would count on you to wow us with your experience then okay um listen i think uh, i can without... see some questions in the q and a so i'm just going to go over them okay, and ask okay them. Let's, let's have them. Um, so someone is asking what the default password is. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you on this call because it is subject to change, right? But be rest assured that you will get it in your mail. You get the default password. You get the URL to the LMS and you'll be able to sign up as easily as I just did on the call. Um, someone is asking if you can get the URL. Like I just stated, when you get the email, you get the URL and you get your default password so you just be able to you know sign up and explore right um what browser works well with the sale lms um it works on literally any browser i use google chrome and it works pretty well so you could try that so i'm certain that it works on any browser so any browser you have available you can use it to and it's going to work perfectly well to work perfectly well um when should you be expecting the email? You would have to pay me to tell you that. You would have to pay me to tell you that. Okay, and you should get the email anytime from today. Anytime from today. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be Monday, but be rest assured that you will get an email. You will get an email. Um, do you have access to the other courses different from the zero to tech learning path? Um, no, you don't have access to it. If you want those courses, you'll be able to pay for some of them. You don't have access to just any course on the LMS, right? And the courses that you have access to, you may have access to, will definitely be communicated to you. Um, is it possible to change from cloud engineering to data engineering? Uh, I'm not in the best position to answer that. Thankfully, Victor is on the call, so he probably answered that question. Um, my question is, is there any desktop application we're expected to download to attend this training? Um, no, no, no. If you have a browser, a good browser that works, Google Chrome, Opera Mini, Mozilla, you don't need to download any particular desktop application. All you just need to do is to put in the URL in your browser and you get access to the LMS once you, you sign in. Um, okay, blessing. There's a question here, and I, I want you to speak to it. Are the materials on LMS downloadable? No, they are not. Yeah, they are well, not. They, so you take the courses. From Yossi's mouth. <laughs> you take the courses on the LMS, right? They are not downloadable. Um, at least not to you. <laughs> mm, can you change your track at some point? No, you better okay. make up your mind now. I don't think you can change your Victor. Can they change their learning track? I don't think so. Uh, we'll we'll hang on that question to um to later in the session. Let them wait a little. We'll answer the question. Yeah. We'll answer the question later. But I think at yeah. this point you've had a few days. This is the fourth day of the induction, right? So at this point, you should have made up your mind on what you want to do. Um what if you did, you don't get an email why are you thinking you won't get an email don't worry you get an email you get an email and if you don't get an email 
I think you're already on the Slack channel, so something will be communicated to you at that point, but you should get an email. If I enroll to cloud engineering, can I get access to data engineering on the LMS if I cheat? Why do you want to have access to data engineering where you enroll to cloud engineering? Um, that is something that is yet to be decided, right? But for now, the answer is no. So if you're onboarded into the cloud engineering specialization, you have access to courses in that specialization. So for now, the answer is no. All right, blessing. Um, someone is asking, can the LMS link be opened with a phone? also or i have to use only my laptop it can be open with a phone most definitely it can be open with a phone so you can access lms through your mobile devices or your laptop um if one um, is not able to use or work at a go can one save the work progress and come back to continue later if one is not able to yeah if i'm taking a course on lms and i'm not able to finish it can i come back um and complete it later. Yes, most definitely you can. You can. Yeah. Great. Okay. Here yeah. Here. Someone is asking about me mentioning an email. You will get an email. The email has not been sent out yet, but you most definitely will get it. So you get an email probably tomorrow or most likely today. So, so yeah, just be patient. You will get the email. Um, can we take can we take both cloud and data engineering courses? No. Um, all right, I think I've answered all of the questions, but I will still be on the call till the end. Oh, what is the penalty for not completing the modules and tests? I don't think I, I, I should be the one to answer that. I know, I know the answer, but Victor is going to answer that question. All right, so um, I'm still going to be on the call and... I'll just take a back seat for now. And if there's any other question that I would need to answer, I'm sure Victor is going to draw my attention to it. Um, thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you very much, blessing. Thank you very much. Can we use yeah, that's it. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. The clap emoji, the thumbs up for blessing. Thank you very much, blessing, all for um running us through um our use of um. CEO Academies LMS for our zero to 30 program um, providing an, and also providing answers to the questions we've asked so far. So um, for the questions that I, I mentioned that we'll take note of them, of course, we would um, definitely um, provide answers to them just as we go to um, the closing phase of um, our induction program for um, cohort six zero to 30 um program yes um blessing you are you on the call so this session i'm um, myself and i'm blessing you would um be running through it and um just before blessing you comes on the call and i'm sure yeah, i'm very much a victor right great all right um so um, let's use the chat room um tell us um i know every section of this um program has been has been power packed. Every session has been power packed. But um, in um, in one word, if I can, um, if you if, if you can compress it, um, can I compress it as a person? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's say in a sentence, in a sentence, I would want you to um, describe um, how you feel um, moving ahead with this program, with everything that has happened from Monday um, up until. About two minutes ago, when I'm blessing to the back seat, I want you to use the chat room. We want to read, we want to hear from you. Um, how has um how has the program been for you? Just um, um we've we've had some feedbacks um already, but let's hear from you um uh, on this call as we begin to do a quick um recap of um the sessions we've had so far. Of the sessions we've had so far, ranging from um, the concept, the con conceptual learning, um, which we reinforcement some um, session, um, to um, data engineering ten thousand feet session, to technical foundation session, um, blogging your learning journey, navigating the SEAL Academy that we just have ended. Um, 
running through cloud engineering 10,000. I mean, come on, just talk to us, talk to us. Yeah, you feel inspired and ready for this opportunity. Great, 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 great. Value is coming and you're hoping to get awesome. Has been an eye opener, has been informative, and it's really encouraging that you guys are very friendly. Of course, we we wear that we wear that badge. You always all come into our space. Insightful. I think some of you have already started the program even without getting your meals to onboard LM and being onboarded to LMS with what I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The importance of accountability partner on this challenging journey very important very important yes that's very that, that's something every one of us want to um have at the back of our minds all right that's great um thank you very much for the feedbacks um um the reason why i asked for um um this um this um for us to participate in this activity is so that um in your words you know why you are um furthering in your words you know why you want to why you want to move on when you eventually um get the necessary meals and um the necessary options that begin moving uh yeah. awesome so um lesson you this is the point where i um, pass the button over to you as we begin to bring to closure um, the induction program for zero to thirty, quad six um, zero to thirty um, program. Sorry, please, Victor. Um, I'm a bit lost. What do you want me to do next? Okay, so we just we just um, tidied up. Um, are we going on to other slides? Is there provision for that? I don't know, to be honest. Have you have you set up one with um, Bolanle yesterday? Because she told me you are setting up one. If you've set up one, we can use that. If not, no problem. Okay. You, have you had one set up? Uh, I'll just make my comment to that um, of the call. But um, just... Um... But just stay, stay with me. Let me check. Just take a few questions. Let me check with Bolanle. It's possible that it's been set up. Okay. And I know she's not nearby because she's running a call. So give me a second. I will get back to you. Okay. Okay. Also, interestingly, I'm, 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 a video just popped up, and I mean, it's OJ on the call. Good morning, OJ. It's good to see you. I and, don't know. Uh, I don't know how he's managed to join from where he is. <laughs> good morning, OJ. I, 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 I mean, is OJ going to say something? OJ, good morning. Okay, okay. So let's 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 move on. Let's move on. Um someone is saying um someone is uh Maxine pointing us to his question. I'm I'm sorry I must have missed it. Can you please bring that question again? Can you bring that question again, Michael? Michael, um can you please just send in your question again and um uh make sure we see um we see to it. So this this is the point where we want to take questions. We'll take questions at this point in time before we um take uh before we do the final closure for the program so far. I mean your comments have been have been great, your responses, your feedback has been great. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The reason, like I said, the reason why we're doing this, um, um, the reason why I'm asking us to send in our comments so far is so that um, when you get to that point, when you feel like training the towel, just like um, John Toriola and um, Teddy and Mutia told us, you would remember there is something that is actually pumping you up. So um, you would just, um, you would know that um, you're not, you're not giving up. Suppose you don't pass a module, are you allowed? Are you allowed through the module again? 
Are you allowed to take the module again, or will you be disqualified from the program? Okay, um, Bob, um, we encourage you to do everything um, possible. Just um, focus more about um, scaling through and not um, the, and not if not, yeah, and not if not. Um, just some um, cast your cast your focus on scaling through. Um, when you get um, when you get started, eventually we would also um, continue to let you know um, the parameters in which um, you would be scaling. You would be scaling through. Okay, you don't seem to be able to see the comments of other participants. Of course, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. As long as you can hear from us and um, we are um, responding to your questions and um, yeah, the questions you are sending in, that's fine. Michael is saying, what is the penalty for not completing tests and assignments in the module before the deadline? Okay. And um, this is still me going to retreat on what I've said so far. Um, we've mentioned that, yes, there are criteria um, that would be in place for us to scale through from one module to another. And um, if for whatever reason you can't um, meet up with certain deadlines and um, tax, um, ensure you reach out to your um, community manager. You would have a community manager um, who would be responsible to um, hold your hands through the program. And um, we would review that for whatever reasons. We would review that and um, a verdict would be made. But um, do your possible best. Do your possible best to, um, um, to be on top of the game, to be on top of the game. Would there be a timetable for lectures? Of course, um, there is a proper structure you would um, it, you, you would um, be introduced to on how your activities would go. Oh, yes, today's attendance is going to count. Um, Most is asking that question. I can't see your name yet. Okay, Michael, yeah. Today's attendance is going to count. Yes. Sending your questions, sending your questions. Um, so we would be here to take um, your questions. Okay, so um, there's a question um, that is still here, that, that is still in my note part. I still in my notes part. Um, the person is um, I I, can't, I I I didn't get the person's name, but the person is asking. Um, and that question was repeated um over time is it possible to change from data engineering to cloud engineering yeah i just wanted you to know that here yeah, we took note of that question and we would be answering that How, um what is the learning mode um is it 50 is it 100 percent practical or 50 50 50 um theory and practical the learning mode is just going to be um just the way the um um let me let me be, let me be, let me be sure of the words I'm, I'm about to use um the learning mode would be um the induction program has given you a few of what the learning um spree would be it's going to be uh, um informative theoretical um and you would also be getting hands on practical from your instructor led session to um the self-paced um session so um as you journey through as you journey through, um, you would be introduced to the one that fits into um, the module you find yourself. Okay, fine. So um, we'd look through and um, you'll get a response to us on um, that. I wasn't able to attend any of the sessions yesterday due to unavoidable engagement. Okay, so just some. Um, just hang on, you would get to see a mail to that effect. We've taken note of um of that. For the live classes, what happens if you are not able to make it to the venue? All of our classes are going to be virtual. Um, Olushegu, all classes are holding virtual. So um you're not commuting to any physical venue. Yes. 
So you're sitting just in front of your laptop and you're taking, um, you're having your sessions. Okay, yeah, Nasi, I'm seeing your question. Very interesting. Let me take note of that. We'll spend time to answer that question. All right, um, I see a comment from just yes, new. All right, that's that's great. Just to be sure, is this quote not about the two skills, data and cloud engineering? I'm not sure I understand your question, Jesu Femi. You might want to um a follow up around that. Basically, this um quote is um going to be focused on two course on, on two on two on two legs, um data engineering and cloud engineering, if that's what you're asking. Gabriel, yeah, the key essay lesson this morning. I mean, very, very, very key. Very, very key. It's it's something you should owe dearly. There is knowledge, there is um, there is the skill, and there is attitude. So you need everything to be balanced for you to be um a very fine and skilled um professional. Oh yes, the dream of becoming a club engineer is gradually becoming a reality we're glad to be part of that journey <laughs> glad to be part of that journey Daniel. yeah blessing you are you up here for us yes yes um yeah almost there but i just Great. wanted to i don't know if you saw my message um i yeah, just I wanted did. to let you know that I've, I've loaded it up and i do apologize to the audience um as of yesterday i was in several meetings so we had not loaded up the um the recap slides okay but this is the thing about resilience right it's the same thing about attitude in the background while victor is busy answering your question he's been working with me i've been working with other people and we've we've got it set up now and um, we're gonna go go for it so this is why I, I keep talking about attitude isn't it right even if you're not ready you can get stuff done quickly with the right people so, so thank you victor for holding forth and for also making sure that yeah we've got it sorted now this generally awesome. is usually much, a game man. thank you so this is going to be a game really let me get my, my my screen up and usually when i do this i have a resident dj playing me some of my favorite jams in the house unfortunately my dj is somewhere somewhere enjoying himself now so i don't have anybody to play me jams so if you're there wherever you are in the world just load up your favorite boner boy and whiskey and davido okay as well as the uh, uh, master kg okay and all them good people load them up load them up and make sure that you have massive jams going on in the background okay and um we'll have fun we're gonna have fun so let me just get rid of wires because this is gonna take some movement get out your phone get out your laptop will be doing some typing we've done this it's, it's one of the the best way to recap i find and we've done this in various courts before and i can tell you in court four the winner was a guy called silas a ube in court five if i remember correctly it was a bisola that was the winner right so in court six i will be looking forward to see who will be the winner today um you may May or may not get something depending on how we feel at the end of this I, I do get emotional and make some promises whether well, not promises some commitments generally don't do promises there's a caveat there don't worry yeah. <laughs> is there right is there a caveat tell, tell me okay um i will need screen share i believe i already have screen share anyway so let me try and see if i can do the screen share um one second before i do the screen share there will be a few things i need one two so i'm going to give all of you um a link 
and a QR code for those. Hang on, my video has frozen. That shouldn't happen. Okay, let me just check my network settings. Okay, because I need serious network for this part. Fine, I think my network is grand. So I'm going to give you a link to join and a QR code. So if you've got your phone, gather your QR code and and um, scanner and be ready. You're going to join this. Put in your names. At least put in names that I can recognize. Okay, don't call yourself Baby Bear or Daddy Boo because I wouldn't know who you are. But as you start to join, your names would appear up on my screen, and I'll know that you're ready, and I'll start the quiz. It's going to be fun. I've asked for my speaker to be brought, so my speaker is just about coming on the way. I'll be booming some music from this end. Look at that, Victor. Things are shaping up. <laughs> right. Screen share straight away happening. There we go. All right. Let's go there. Let's go there. We... Victor, you can you will the request from the chat window, and I will I will try to see if I can get the music. Okay. Okay. So um, a question asks: Is it possible to change from data engineering to cloud engineering? So um, I mean, blessing blessing. O was speaking to that um earlier on, and she was um advising that you make up your mind now. You make up your mind now. We the, the the changing is not going to be possible if um we start the program. The changing is not going to be possible if we start the program. There are um you might you might say um are they not similar and, uh are the pathways not similar as um, well? Um we 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 can't um say they are as they are both distinctive and um we would want you to be sure of um, the parts you are venturing into and do um, the very best that you can do. And um, uh, I think it was Nancy that asked the question even um, very correct um, with the name, that um, what are the experiences from those who have, um, who have, who are, who are taken the programs and um, how were they able to um, solve through it? Blessing, oh, do you want to speak to that effect if I provide an answer to that? Um, we had um, alumni um, with us yesterday on the call, and um, they shared some of their experiences. And um, I, I, it's OK if um, we retreat on, on, on them, on a few of them this morning, also for the purpose of the person acting. So Blessing, oh, um, you've um, interacted with some of these um, students over um over the months over the years do you want to share with us um what has been a challenge what has been their challenge and how they've been able to scale through um, yeah thank you victor i think uh like you said i've had to interact with some students in the last few months and i think one of the most recurring challenges a lot of them have is um this is me being very very blunt is the inability to properly read information that is being passed out via different platforms on the on the slack channel the emails we send out so over time we send out emails and then the same the content of the email you will still see them come and ask you those questions who oh, are more able to do this or who oh, are more able to do that and then you go on the slack channel and then you see that it's the same information they are asking you for is has been answered over and over again on the slack channel so my advice to everyone on the call is be patient and every information that goes up on the slack channel is important information it is better you read through the information it's better, speaking the other one. You, it's better you read through the information it's better you communicate to your community manager when you do when you, you you do not understand it's better you collaborate it's very important in fact i don't know how else to emphasize on it it's very important that you collaborate with with your colleagues with other people students like you on in your learning track and in your specialization sometimes they will be able to hold your hands when you feel like you're falling behind and when you feel like you don't understand what is happening yeah, it happens. Sometimes we might get confused. It doesn't mean that you don't know enough. It can happen to any of us. But it's also very important that, you know, when information is passed, 
you pay attention to it. Every information on the Slack channel is an important information. Every email that is sent to you is an important email. So it is better you read through it. You understand the instruction that is being passed so that you don't have to start asking questions several weeks after something that you should have done weeks ago. Somebody was asking what's the criteria for not passing um, from one module to the next module. Simple things like missing out important information is enough reason for you to not go to the next module because something important may have been said that you missed. And then when it's time for us to, you know, do a collation of who is going to the next module, we, we find out that you, you are lacking or you're falling short in one way or the other, then you cannot proceed to the next module. So it's important you pay attention and you collaborate and any information that is being passed is important information so make sure that you are paying attention and make sure that you're reading important details i hope i've been able to answer that question okay blessing gave the heads up about being blunt and i mean she came out she came out hard <laughs> she came out hard as simple as um taking note of um the communications in the mail as simple as um not I, I mean following to the fullest what um what is in the mail so um folks please please um let's let's take note of that okay i'm hearing okay you people should calm down don't worry blessing blessing you is going to be with us shortly it's going to be with us shortly um apologies um for the network glitch Apology for the network glitch. We are going to resolve that in a short while from now. Um, let me just speak also to um what um blessing as um also said. Um, you know, one of the challenges again that um um we've seen across um across board is um the testing, testing. Um, Oh, great. Testing, testing. That's what I hear. Is um, the inability of um, participants to communicate. I mentioned earlier on the call here yeah, that um, there would be a community manager um, in your Slack channels. In your Slack channel, please engage your community manager for whatever reason. If you're not meeting up with, uh, if for whatever reason you can't meet up with um, certain timelines and um, deliverables, communicate. Um, let your communication be very explicit, and um, they should um, they should they should center around something that is that is very valuable and cool and um, cautious, you know. Don't don't your reasons should not be centered around. Um, um, I, I, I there was no juice on my laptop, or um, there was no juice on my phone, you know. These are things that are, are, are very important, but um, might not really be something that, um, that would flag um, based on the parameters we've set in place for this program. Blessing you is um our testing testing getting us on a good on a good ground now. <clears throat> yes, indeed. So I noticed, and I do apologize that I noticed as soon as I shared my screen earlier, it all went very very mad network wise. So I switched, I've switched to a wired connection. So no matter how wireless we like, nothing beats wire, right? So I'm set up straight away to wired connection. And Great. I'm running now at about 77 Mbps um, of speed. So I'm going to try again. Now, if I try to share my screen and it goes mad, I will take off my video. So at least I save one stream, okay? If we can have both, fantastic. If we can't have both, well, we'll at least let's have one. I'll be more interested in my, my screen itself. So let's get ready again. And I'm clicking the share button. I'm crossing everything. Come on. Come on. Boom. Here we go. Picture coming in? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I finally, yeah, I finally managed to run ahead of my village people. Yes. Village people, I'm ahead of you now. Okay. Aha. Right. So first thing first, I would also like to check 
Is my audio still playing very, very well? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Right, 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 right. And my video, am I still visible to you? Yeah, your screen is still visible. Okay. It's getting good, getting good. And one last thing. Okay. Go. How about that? Is that coming across? Yes, it's coming in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah. Aha. This is good. Aha. Let's get in the mood. Okay. Can players begin to join the game? All right, Ken. Yeah. Let's go. Players begin to join the game. Just scan your. Just scan the barcode and. I'm scanning mine now. Scanning. I'm also scanning for my. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Joey, I see you. First player to join. Goodness, how fast! Oh, who is the Red Devil? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, Joey is also the Red okay. Devil. <laughs> you can see I'm going to go here with two phones. I'm I, I'm definitely winning this today. Huh? Hold on. Goodness, where are you? I'm scanning the QR code and I'm about to join. Aha, there we go. Fab. Okay, I'm still waiting for everyone to join. I've got 17 players. So keep going. Okay, bless you. Someone is asking if you can get the post, the link on the QR code. Yeah. Okay, link coming straight away. Let's All right. Think straight away. Stand by. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have slides dot com slash c a c six. So still academy c six. What's happening on my keyboard? Don't freeze on me, please. <laughs> okay. All right, the slides is here already. Slides are here already. Come on, just click on the slides. Okay, who's going to be making the next music request? Um, just scrolling roughly down my chat to see. Okay, one. Do you have the link now? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, audible. I need to check. Oh, goodness. Uh, oh, goodness. Hold on. Am I still audible? Yes, you are audible, but um, the background music is off. Okay. I think there's a, a small delay in my audio. In, in, um, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've slowed it. I've, I've lowered it a little, little bit. I'm so happy to take request on, on the next song to play. So send me your request in the Q&A also, and I will do my best to play you the song you need. OK? Uh, let me see. Everything, everything is moving very randomly on my screen. <laughs> I think I have to pull that 
down some of my applications because they are sucking the power out of my system. So give me a second okay. whilst I do that Let's and check. Activity. How many people have joined so far? Can you check for me? Okay, 38. Where are the rest? Oh. Uh, How many players do you have on your end now, Blessing? Uh, I think we're having crash from Zoho at the moment. I'm not sure why um, it's... So on my end, I have about 38, but um, ever since I've been sharing my screen, Zoho is quite kind of very unstable. I'm not sure what's going on in the background, so I think I would have to check why that's the case. I've got 42 players right now. We'll probably give about five more minutes for more to join. Uh, don't save this, or save rather. I'm closing up a few things on my system also to make space for um, resource uh, usage, yes, if that's causing this um, the slowness. In the, blessing, the link is redirecting them. Give me a second. All right. Give it a try. I'm going to try, try something here. If you can hear me, still, still. Yes, I can still hear you. At the I moment, hear you. I'm not sure the Zoho background is stable enough for us to begin. So I'm going to try and see if I can do something here. Because the audio is a little bit. OK, so your, your audio comes back to me with a little bit of delay from when I've spoken. Okay, could that be from my own, from my own? Uh, okay, 48 players so far, if you can still hear me. I've got 48 players. I can 48 still hear you. I can still hear you. So far, joined. Uh, have you got? Okay, I can, yeah, I can hear you now. There seems to be a small delay. There seems to be a small delay in the, in the audio um stage. And if I cannot, if I cannot verify the, if I can't verify the time lap, it it won't be good to start because that means some people will be some people will be able to receive um, stuff ahead of other people, which is not something I want to happen. Okay. okay. So stand by if you're there, if you can hear me and you've joined on the game, stand by while I verify others can join. Okay. Ah, Victor, everything crashed on me. So let's oh. see if I can get, yeah, Every, everything crashed on me. But let me see if I can get you all back up. Okay, yeah. Right. I will try sharing the screen again. I think we will we'll be the podcast with Zoho after this um, induction. It's, it's not been very stable this week. Yeah, we, they will have to explain. They will have to explain how much <laughs> is changing at their end. Right. But okay. If I'm still audible, Victor, can you just confirm I'm still audible, please? Sorry. Still audible. Your screen is up now. Aha. Okay. I've closed so every bad single thing on my bad system. Is off now. Oh, thank God. I've closed every single thing on my system except the aha slides you're seeing on my screen and the webinar itself. Okay. It does then mean that I may not be able to refer to certain things, but that's fine. I'm happy. Uh, let's see. On the Q&A, let me see if anybody had made um, any requests for a song. No requests for songs? Are you kidding me? I think there, okay. There's been quite a lot. Someone said, play anyone by any song by Asha uh, Extra Cool by Young John, play Rema, Calm Down. I shall, I shall exactly. I think I need Rema. <laughs> I think I need Rema now. 
calm down and swear that one I need because obviously the system has has not really been nice to me. Okay, let's go and find Rema calm down and that should be coming up at some point. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we've got 98 players. We tend to just begin with 100 when we do these things. So if there's any two more that can join, please go ahead and do so. Okay. All right, so are the two persons giving us a go. <laughs> go for it, two people. We have, oh, we, have, we got four. Oh, more than that. 108. <laughs> yes. Correct. That's what I like to see. Okay, I think I should be able to start the quiz now. Now, the way this is going to work, basically, will be, oh, I like this one with Salina Gomez. My, 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 <laughs> my attention is both ways, as I don't have my resident DJ with me. But don't worry, we're going to do it. We're going to do it together. We are going to do it together, every one of us here. Okay? We are going to do it together. So the way this is going to work, there'll be a, a series of questions on the screen. And what I'm expecting to see from you is to type the right answers. Okay? Make sure you get the right answers. And the fastest finger that can type the correct answer will get on the leaderboard. Okay? And you're going to know you're the fastest because you will all see the leaderboard. Okay? Aha. Aha. Exactly what I needed. <laughs> I'm sure Victor is somewhere laughing at me. Right, I'm starting. I'm Let's not, go. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Start the quiz. There are 25 questions. And the more you answer, the faster you are, the more you are going to get rewarded. Okay? Right, I'm turning off the, the first one. Now, look at your devices. There should be a question there. Can you tell me what the practice of tracking and managing changes to software code or anything generally? Can you tell me what that is called? The answer is right there in front of you, but you do need to figure it out. Okay, am I seeing answers coming in? Okay, the answer to that question was version control. Okay, how many people said coding, debugging, programming, and other answers? <laughs> Who is on the leaderboard? Who is on the leaderboard? Okay, straight off, straight off. Let's go in. At the very top is Bolua Tife. Woo! All right, Bolu, I'm waiting for you. Bolu, let's maintain the crown. <laughs> Okay, next question. Here we go. Ready? It is right there in front of you again. A software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. Right there in front of you. Okay. Uh, I think I know what this one might be. But whether I can type it in time is the question. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Ah, time's up. Let's see answers. Ooh, who has not been paying attention? <laughs> who has not been paying attention to these classes? Oh my goodness, who are these? Come on. The answer is integrated development environment. Okay. Is Boluati first here up there? Ah, Boluati is a, is an AI. We know, we know this. <laughs> okay, next one, easy one. Here he comes. Aha, an IT professional that designs, builds, and maintains cloud infrastructure. 
This one is easy. I think I know this one. The question is how fast can I type? Come on. Apart from these. How fast can I type? Come on. Mm -hmm. Two, one, and who is there? Oh, I love this. 100 also, people getting this one right. I'm also, loving it. Also. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Is Boluati still at now. the top? Okay, let, let me just have a word on this one. It's not a cloud architect, okay? Because cloud architects technically will they may not be involved in in building it itself okay they might be involved so i pause the music let's just get this one clearly they might be involved in design but not building okay there's an option there that says cloud engineers right just trying to to push you to the wrong answer because it says one an it but there's data engineer definitely not and then there are other answers that have come in that that is not correct Cloud engineer. Again, watch out when you type, listen, read the question carefully, I would say. Okay, so you get the answers correct. Okay, next one. Here we go again. Ah, Boluwatife. Okay, what do you want me to play so I can distract Boluwatife? I've got some Ashaka here. Which one do you want? <laughs> okay. Hopefully this distracts Boluwati if I push, pushes him or her off the mark. Okay, here we go. A DevOps software development practice where developers regularly merge their code changes into a central repository. That is short form of repo. <laughs> Aha. Oh, someone is asking, how do I join? How do I join? Oh, who is that? Who is that person? Kevin, I hope you figure out to join. Just um, go to the link at the very top. It probably is a bit late now, but you're welcome to. You never know. We still have a few questions to go. So continuous integration was the correct answer for this one. And I can see about 31 people got that correct. GitHub is not the answer. The, the beautiful thing about this is the answer is right in front of you. Okay. So let me give you, let me give you the formula now in case you've not gotten it right. Like Dija, let me give you the formula. Look at the word at the very beginning. It is jumbled up, but you need to unjumble it. Okay. Now I've given you the tip. I want someone to unseat Boluati fair. Okay, here we go. Is this still at the top? Or is she? Is Boluati fair he or is she? Can you identify he, she, or they? Can you identify yourself in the chat room? <laughs> Can you identify? Are you he, she, or they, or AI? <laughs> oh, is she? Interesting. Is she? Thank you very much for identifying. See, in, in the number of times I've run of you. <laughs> in the number of time I've run this, there's been one male winner, one female winner. Okay. So happy to see who is going to be winning today, male or female. Okay. And if you don't identify as either, if you're non-binary, I'm also here with you. Just let me know how you identify where you win. Okay. Here we go. Five of twenty-five. There we go. Aha. Can you just unjumble the answer there in front of you? A popular pattern for organizing complex application code comprising the back end, the front end, and logic. Hmm. I think Leo might have mentioned something about this. I suspect he might have. 10 seconds. Where's my son's list? Can you put those um, lists in the chat window, Victor, so I can start searching for them while the um, answers are coming in? Okay. okay. 
So 37 people have gone for model view controller. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Controller view model, nah, okay. Some of us have got the answers in the wrong order. Again, look at the order is presented at the very top, okay? Right, next one. Oh, she's still there. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> Abdul Rahman. <laughs> that was a close case. That was a very close one. <laughs> Abdul Rahman has been following her up ever since. So let's go. Can we keep it that way or will she be back? Number six. No, nah, stay on the question. <laughs> Evaluating a product or service by testing it with representative users. I think that is something again, Leo might have mentioned. My phone is kind of suggesting the answer as soon as I started typing. I think I'll take the suggestion. Okay, I'm waiting for my chat to refresh to see if, yeah, I've got what I'm looking for. Oh, someone is saying I can't join through the link. Sorry, I hope you've managed to do so now. Okay, this has been gotten by 53 people. What, what Maurice, why are you screaming? <laughs> yes, usability testing is the correct answer there. And I um, see somebody has gone for testing, usability, suitability testing. There's been a whole host of answers. But okay, the correct answer there is usability testing. Congrats to those of you that have got that right. Okay. Um, next one. And Abdul Rahman, kind of running up. I can see Odili just coming from the bottom. Yeah, still coming from the bottom there. There's Gregory. Oh, and Skyler is climbing up the ladder again. Interesting. Exactly. No, what's happening? <laughs> Gregory, rather. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen him. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, an IT professional are typically responsible for designing, building, and implementing cloud networks. Cloud networks. The secret is in the question there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Time's up. And woo! Cloud Network Engineer. I'm loving that. Yeah. Cloud Engineer? No. Cloud Architect? No. Cloud Engineering? No. And any other answer? No. Cloud Network Engineer. Again, right in front of you. Some of you are getting this now. Okay, here we go. Who is at the top? Ah, Dramon. I think you will need to, you will need to get on now. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Question number eight. The process of building and managing a digital product through its entire life cycle. Oh, definitely. Someone in that department just finished speaking with us, so you should know the answer. <laughs> Here we go. Time's up. And, ah, loving that. <laughs> Who is going for management product on idea generation? Now nah, it's product management. Okay, who is at the top? Let's see. I should turn on my video. You should see I finished. I'm, I'm sweating now because I'm dancing hard. <laughs> yeah, Ramon. Yeah, Victor, do you want to give Bonua a pep talk? She needs to step up. 
you're doing well. You're doing well. You're honing it. I'm rooting for you. I'm still rooting for you. Don't mind blessing you. <laughs> Here we go. Number nine. There's a lot of questions left. Hold on, stay there. There's a lot of questions. You can still do this. Software framework that is designed to support development of web applications. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let me type my answer. Ah. Seven seconds to go. Ah, there we go. Web development framework is the correct answer. Well done to those that have got that right. I'm loving this. AWS, who is that? <laughs> okay. Next one. We're almost at the halfway mark. And Abdurrahman is still... Oh, what's that? Where's, where's Bonuati what, 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 what just happened? What just happened? What, what just happened? <laughs> wait, wait. Pause this music. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. She's not that far off. Yeah, let, let's not panic. She's just on the second page. She's on the second page. Here we no, go. No, no, no. But what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> I didn't really expect this kind of move. <laughs> Let's go. A feature of text editors and IDEs which determines the color and style of source code in the editor. Right. Do you know what that is? I'm just here dancing with nothing more. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Syntax highlighting. Well done. I'm loving that. Well done. Yeah, some people were typing and the answers. Yeah, time was up. I can see. I can see you almost got the answer there. I think okay. one of the well things we also need to know is that this this this, this record speed. It is. It's the fastest finger after all. Let's see if Bolowati has made it back. Oh no, she's not made it back. Oh no. Abdurrahman is running away with it. Identify yourself. He, she, or they, or AI. Who are you? <laughs> are you a he, a she, a they, or... An artificial intelligence bot. Okay. When you identify, let me know. Eleven. Halfway mark. Almost. This is how a person, the user, feels about interacting with or experiencing the product. This is so simple. Ooh. Come on. Come on, almost time up. I think most people got this one right. 115. I think that's probably yeah. the highest I've ever seen. Well done. User experience. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done to everyone. I love that. Let's keep this one. Let's keep that spirit up. So who's on top? Who was the fastest? Abdul Ramon. Has Abdul Ramon identified? No? Okay, still waiting there. No identification here. <laughs> That's how we know. <laughs> this is how we know you are a robot for real. Research to understand <laughs> and to document business systems, business process, and business problem. What is that? A bit more difficult, this one. So keep typing. Go fast. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 
Ah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, most of us did well there. So you've got business system understanding and you've missed the S. Uh, should I, should I, should I? Okay, I'm going to give the business system understanding people. So I've given you grace now, right? I've given you grace now. So all of it have gone without the S in system, okay? I'm giving you grace and I'm accepting your answer, okay? Here we go. Right, fantastic. So more people, you see? Don't tell me I've not been nice and lenient, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Next question, before we get there, Abdurrahman? Ah, okay. I fear nobody might catch Abdurrahman again now. Definitely an AI bot. I, 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 I'm hearing it too. It's looking like he has gone. <laughs> But you never know. You I, never know. I identify. I'm still rooting for you, Bolu. But you say you identify. Are you a, are you a E or a C? Come on. Is Bolu what if I still there? Oh, she's at number seven. Ah, uh, okay. No, no problem. Bolu, you're doing well. You're doing well. <laughs> I want to I'm liking this pep talk. Time. Here we go. This is simple. This is very, very simple. Okay? Come on. Hmm. Uh huh. Ooh, growth hacker. Oh. That looks lovely. Well done. Yeah, well done. 73 of you. Well done. Good one. There we go. Who is on top? Please don't give up. You never know. Abdul Ramon might simply just lose oh my God, power yeah, in his house. Oh my God, I'm taking. Please, please, you're taking over. <laughs> What's happening? Liz is coming for Abdul Ramon. Ah, let's go. This is another story of oh, oh, oh. Very simple one, this one. The funny thing is the answer is even in the question. <laughs> oh, shit. Aha, I love this. Stakeholder requirements. Mm, stakeholders requirements. Stakeholders requirements. Mm, should I be lenient? Should I be lenient? <laughs> Victor, what do you say? Should I be lenient? Should I accept my answers? Mm. Okay. Okay, I will accept my answers. I would accept answers from stakeholders' requirements, stakeholders' requirements, and stakeholder requirements. There we go. I've simply promoted a few of you. The rest I won't accept. So well done. Let's see how that shape things up. Ogo, ogo. Abdurrahman, come on. Come on. It, I like the fact that the board keeps changing so frequently. Okay? This is nice. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica is screaming. Abdurrahman is a robot. Okay? Restructuring research, development, and innovation processes to make new products. What is that? Mm, 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 mm. I think I know the answer to this one. Ah, OK, 
Okay, waiting for the answers to load. We're going nowhere. We're doing this today. Accelerated innovation. Well done, Humphrey. Humphrey, you should be on the game. You shouldn't be in the chat. Be on the game. You could win this. Okay, 66. There we go. Who is on the top? Who's on the top? Ah, let's see. Ramon is still running away with it. He's still running away with it. Come on. Come on, people. Unseat this leader. 16 of 25. We're almost at the end. A form of OS virtualization where you run applications in isolated user spaces and containers that use the same shared operating system. What is that? Mm -hmm. Mind your S from your Z if you're answering this question. That was a great <laughs> I've given you the answer already. Aha, 68 of you. Ah, containerization. Uh, okay, the two and one of you that couldn't spell it ever so well. I will forgive you for that. So, no. <laughs> Who is on the lead? Abdurrahman running into 12. And here comes D. D, two more questions and you can tip Abdurrahman off the top. Okay, get ready for it. And 17. Here we go. Fast typing, fast typing, fast typing. Come on. Something, something, something. Come on. Three seconds. There we go. Spot code management. Very simple. Management source code. No code source. <laughs> okay. This is why you all need to be on this program because some of you are just guessing these things. There's no such thing as management code source. Okay. You need to be on this program. Definitely. Right. Who is stopping up now? Abdurrahman going to. Oh, come on. Number two to number five keeps changing. Yeah. Mm. Eunice, Eunice, I see you. Let's see where Boluwati is. Oh, God, they've taken light in the house down Nepa. She's not even here. Page four, page five, page six. Oh, goodness. Woo, number 30. Boluwati Fai, you, you finished my Aka. You know how many double bets I placed on you? I'm so dead, Yekpa. I've bet oh, my, no. my monthly salary. You have to put it to your network. Yeah, it's blue, right? It's blue. Oh, boy, yeah. My Aka is gone. <laughs> All right, Abdurrahman. You are the new horse I'm betting on now, okay? This is simple. This is so, so simple. This one is simple. So, so simple. Come on, go. Go for it. Come on, let's go. Joyce, don't cry. Eat it. You do, you do it. Money follow you. Banana follow you. Brother follow you. Aha. 84 of you got in this right. Editor code. Who is that? Text editor. Okay, no. Code routine. No. And any other answer, definitely no. Code editor is the answer for that one. Okay. And Abdurrahman is going. Yeah. 
I'm placing my bet on you now. Identify yourself quickly, okay? Because you are my new horse of the stable. 19 and five questions to go. A family of open source Unix-like, come on. If, if everybody gets this one, I'm turning on my video and doing my Indian dance. It's so simple. You've not seen me do my Indian dance, right? You're going to see it today. Aha. Aha. Okay, turning on my video. Uh, who are these? Who are these ten people that don't want me to do my Indian dance? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was going to do my, my awesome Indian dance, and then 10 people failed this. Lunix, Unix like, Unix. Nah, none of this. Thank you. Thank you. Who has been in the chat? What are they saying in the chat? Okay, no one. Ah, okay. People leave. Okay, um, can anyone hear me? Emeka, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, can anyone see a blessing you? No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay. Um, two things have happened. Uh, one thing again that we can attribute it to. Probably um, there is a downtime on the internet on his end. But I mean, basically, we've seen what we just wanted us to. We just we, we've seen um we just wanted everyone to have um, a free time. You know, we we um, one of the ways um, um one of the ways you learn is um. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you now. Blessing you. Okay. I've just had a power cut, which oh. is very, very, which is very, very weird. So I think that has happened this time. I told you my village people, they are all over me. But I, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna win them. Okay. Sorry right, about power it. restored. Uh -huh. Please confirm if you can still hear me and you can still see my screen. I can hear screen. you loud and loud, loud and clear, and your screen is still on. Okay. Right. I need to get back my players. Where are my players? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, oh goodness. Uh, can you all tell me what you can see? Oh, goodness. Okay. Great. I think Great. I, yeah. Are we back on the screen? Yeah, we're back. All right. We're back. Ah, I think oh. I know what happened. It's Bulu Watifair. Yes, she's come and cut my power. <laughs> just, just, just to make sure that this game doesn't find a winner, right? Please, but we are back. Alone, no, blessing you. Too. <laughs> I'm rooting for Bulu. You never can tell. Bulu can climb up the ladder. I'm not sure that magic can happen again now. <laughs> that that is so not happening. I've moved my bet now. My bet is now fully, fully, fully on Abdurrahman. If, okay, if, if music it happens, back up. Then we, we, we will just give up on. 
any any procedure <laughs> of such. But Bolu, I'm still rooting for you. I hear you. Bolu is unavailable. <laughs> you didn't have to say that, yes. <laughs> All right, let's go back live. Okay, let's go again. Okay, we already answered this one. I think we had that one done. Let's go to the next one. I think we already answered this question. We need to move to the next question. Or let's wait for it. So you will not, let me lower the music a bit. You'll not be able to answer this question because you've already answered it, okay? So just wait for it to time out and then we'll go to the next one. And sorry about that for those of you that lost me momentarily. That's why we have backups on these things. So that if one person is gone, another person is still there. Okay, fantastic. So we move on now to the next one. We know Abdurrahman was still leading. And here we go. 20 of 25. Okay, simple one. An organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in a, in a computer system. God, I couldn't make this question any easier. Come on, somebody on Sita Abdurrahman with this simple question. Aha, we have answers for the love of God. Ah, you guys are trying to force my hand. Okay, I'm going to accept data bases just ever so just, but I'm not accepting data and base with space in them. Okay. Yeah, and there's someone here who didn't type fully, but yeah, that's fine. 114, I'm happy with that. Here we go. Somebody on Sita Abdurrahman? No, man is still running. Okay, 21. This should be simple again. If you know the answer to this one, you are listening to Leo very, very intently. So Figma, if you've never heard about Figma before, uh, I do believe that Leo might have mentioned it during his session. Well, yeah, it is an interface that you can use to design. So before you see all of this website and mobile apps come to your screen, they get designed, okay? They get designed in, in Figma to show what they're gonna look like, okay? So hopefully you got that one right. And if you didn't, well, now you know, okay? Fantastic. Who is still at the top? Abdurrahman. So we just take it as um that, that's um an AI box. So Pisayo and T are the guys who are actually in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We shall see. Pisayo, make me proud. I think he, he's waiting to win before identifying himself. We shall see. Oh. Rabbi doesn't want to identify and then go down and then lose. Down just like after Bula identify. <laughs> no, no, no. Abdurrahman, we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. We are seeing you. We are seeing you. We are seeing you. Life and direct, yeah. Okay. Something, something is the practice of enabling change in organization by blah, blah, blah. Right. This one should be very simple, I believe. Three, two, one. Let me see.
OK, analysis business. <laughs> OK, all of these reverse answers must be coming from someone who is doing it the other way around. I would give you a second tip, almost finishing the game. Just do it the way it is on the screen. Go from left to right. OK? Right. Business analysts are professionals. Yeah, they are indeed. OK, here we go. On the board, Abdurrahman with only, only two questions left to go. Come on. Here we go. Building a close replica of what the end result of a product will look like, usually without code. Mm. Okay. Hope the answers are in. Time's up and what do we have? 89 people on prototyping. Ah. And then prototype and then prototyping and prototyping. <laughs> yeah. I like the fact that this is all about. Your, your fast fingers. Can you type fast? I'm not making mistakes. Exactly. For some person, they don't speak a word or two, and autocorrect is not coming to their rescue. <laughs> I'm lucky here. I'm enjoying autocorrect from my phone. <laughs> Okay, what's on the leaderboard as we go to the next set? Abdurrahman, you're one question away from running away with this. Can you identify yourself and also tell me the song you want me to play for you? Do you want to buga? You are allowed. <laughs> Ibrahim crying. <laughs> Number 24. Right. Come on, it's, IT expert it's, responsible it's for right. submission. Go for it, Victor. Can I hear you? I'm just saying Abdurama doesn't want to identify still. <laughs> Come on, Abdurrahman. Identify. Ninety-three. Exclusive. Exclusive. I'm loving that. Cloud architect. IT expert responsible for supervision of a company's cloud computing system. Okay. I'm going to do some accepting. I'm going to accept Cloud Architects. OK? Fab. So a few more answers. Architects, Cloud, no, I'm not accepting that. I think we're going to the last question now. Abdurrahman, are you ready? Here we go. Simple, very, very simple. Oh, Abraman has identified. <laughs> and Abraman. Hmm. Yes, we see. We know you're Abraman. Okay. Male or female, what are you? He, she, they. Here we go. Ah. 
So those two people, those two people that actually spell JavaScript with a space, I would have been willing to accept your answer if you made the S a capital S. I would have been more lenient, but no, because you didn't, I'm not going to accept. So 110 JavaScript accurate. I'm taking that. Okay. And the CEO. Well, Abduramon, the CEO of Abduramon Incorporated. Where is he? I can't find him on my chat. The thing with my chat, it doesn't load. Come on, scroll down. Where is he? Ah, it's not loading on my chat. So he, he's identified as a male Victor, has he? Yes, he is. Okay. All right, let's have a look and see if he's won it today. Ready, everybody? Uh, stretching out. Uh, that has been a very, 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 very interesting session. And the winner is... Aha. Uh -huh. Fingers crossed. Oh. Ramon. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. With nineteen thousand, yeah, with nineteen thousand nine hundred and thirty points, Abdurrahman is the winner of today's recap session. And um, Victor, we tend to give the winner the opportunity to speak up. So if Abraman is willing to, we can give you the audience to actually say something. Is he willing to speak? All right, Ramon, um, just send a message now um, to the chat so we can easily just speak you out and um, give yeah. you that right to um, say one or two. Yes, so stand up for the champion, Kingsley. I see that. And Nandi saying, I came at 36. Honestly, Nandi don't want to hear what I came. I came, oh God, I'm not even going to say what I came. So I'm going to keep, I'll keep mine there. Shame on me. So <laughs> you should be proud of yourself, Nandi or Nandi. 36 is a big, 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 big top. Top 50, we'll say, right? So you, okay, you do well. Uh, as, um, as a message, yes. So can we pick him up? Organizers, can we pick him up? I think so. Let me see. Uh, let me oh, see. I can't find him. Yeah. He's there, Abdurrahman. Can you find I have him? seen him. I have allowed him. Okay. okay. Good, Abdurrahman. The floor is yours. Why did you drag us into this matter? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see that coming. You know. Hello, 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 Hello. All right. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine very much. <laughs> the recap session. So, um, can you tell us how has this um, session been for you so far? How's the induction program been for you so far? Uh, it, it has been a great experience. It has been a great experience. Yeah. You have, you have, Most you especially have the the previous section to everyone on the call. Well, I think. Well, it's, it's, I think it's all about grit. For someone to be successful in this program, I think one would need grit, ability to push on regardless of the situation where someone finds himself in. Oh, I 
mean, I, I, I can, I can, cut, I, I can um, characterize that as um, one of the things that made you push on everyone Bolu Atufe was, was leading and I was taking my bet on out. I, I didn't expect that to drop that low. I thought we were going to compete to a trout. <laughs> Extra man, time, man. Certainly, I, 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 I mean, I'm hearing sportsmanship here, irrespective of the fact that he was wanting to lead. He was expect he was looking forward to our also being on the rise. So Bolu Atufe, we were rooting for you, it was not just by mount. It, 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 it's a spirit on the inside world that every one of us can rise together. So well done, guys. Abdul Rahman, a big hand for you. So, um, <laughs> Thank you very much. A big hand. All right. So I, I um I just want to make an announcement quickly. Uh, we would indulge you um while we were um having the game. Okay, um, I mean blessing, blessing. Can I, can I get your definitely. permission to get Bolu Atife to talk also? Yeah, definitely. Why not? Go on, go for Bolu it. Atife, let's hear your voice. Let's hear your voice. Bolu Atife, use the chat room. Let's identify you quickly and give you the right to say something. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come on. I, I like the way this has been dragged straight into Arsenal and Man City. I mean, I'm just quietly in my own corner. Oh my God, uh, <clears throat> I'm not... I'm not going to mention my club. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> the difference between us and Man City. Oh my God. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Who is that Michael Jackson on the screen? Okay. Where are you guys getting these emojis from? My goodness. What if they just say, can you say something so we can pick you and um, give you a right to speak? We really would hear, love to hear from you. Definitely. And personally, from you, Bolu I, I, I would. Um, okay, I'll share a link just after you speak, and I'll tell you what I want you to do for Abdurrahman and Bolu um and every other person. But Abdurrahman and Bolu please, um, take note of that information that will come. Come on. Listen, maybe you should you should help me do a call to Bolu because I want to hear Bolu talk. Where is she? Yeah, we want to be able to identify her first of all. I think she yes, did. Yes. Up on I, I, want call. To, um, I, I want to believe she's still on this call. Yeah, she's there. So I can find her as Boluwa Tife Adedi Wura. I, I, so organize that. Can you find her? Validate so we know we're giving the right person. Yeah, she's just a yeah, yeah, lot of validate yourself, yes. Bolu. Yeah. One of us will speak it. Yeah, a lot of Boluwa Tife, right? Well, so I, the I can see. I was rooting for on the game, and the one I want. Yeah. Just a little okay. comment, so, Bolu um, fair. In one minute, we will just um, move on. I'm just scrolling through, trying to see if she would say something, but no. Yeah, I am also on my end. Okay, so we don't um we don't keep everyone waiting. There are other things um we would want to do. So um thank you very much everyone. Um, it's been it's been a very good time to wind up. And today is not just today is not on Friday. Today is Thursday and look at our energy. I wonder what it will be like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm going to drop a link in the chat room for everyone to see, and um I want you to just um writes a feedback to us what your experience has been in this um, program um, in the induction um, session so far and if possible you can do a video um, that um, link would allow you to submit written feedbacks and um, also upload a video um, we really really would appreciate that and basically um, we want to do that so we can um, put it out on our socials and also identify with you I mean, you started off um, the journey from Monday and you're here, and um, we are optimistic that um, by this time next week, you'll be fully onboarded um, on the program um, and we would have this energy rolling. So um, I just dropped um, the link in the chat room for all to see. I just keep that and I'm doing again. I'm doing again. All right, all right. So um, 
thank you very much. Let's see, um, let's let's have your final thoughts so we just wrap up the session. Yes. Um in the in the recent few um, minutes, I have been given access to to some data which I want to quickly as my data analyst will do, I want to quickly run some analysis on it and see what that data is telling me. And then I'll, I'll, wrap, I'll wrap up with it. So um, I've got data from where everybody has been joining in the last few days, okay? And um, I just want to shout out to all of these countries I'm seeing here. But before I do that, I will want to see where the greatest attendees have been joining from. It's going to be fun. Um, see if I can get, yeah, hold on one second. If I can get the count. So Victor, just give me one second and let me just get a count, okay? All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing the comment session. Apologies. Um, all right, you can check the link again now. Everyone has permission. Apologies about that. Apologies about that. Got some countries and some counts. Wow. Wow. I love this. I love this. This is beautiful. People have joined from all over the place, all over the world. Where are my data engineers on this call? <laughs> Where are you when I need you? Huh? Uh, I think I would like I would like a pie chart. Can I get a pie chart? It would be lovely to get pie charts. If not, I think I'll take um let's see, pie chart. No, I can't generate a pie from this. Oh no, you can you can actually. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yep, so I've got myself a beautiful pie, Victor. You you would love this when I put it up. You're gonna okay. love this. You're gonna love this. Pe people have joined us from all over the place. And I'm so 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 happy. So happy to see to see this. Okay. I'm just gonna make a screenshot of it and put it up for everybody to see. Open, open information. Wow. I, Wow, some people have been joining from the night. Because when I look at these time zones, there's no damn way you can tell me you've been awake. Wow, at, wow, at, wow. At the that's afternoon awesome, period. That's a great, I mean, the words of Abdurrahman. <laughs> so, so, first of all, every one of you that have stayed through to the end on a daily basis, okay, I just want to say thank you. Big, big, big thank you to every one of you. But have a look at this if my screen is still visible to everybody. I hope yes. it is. Okay. So there you go. There you go. There you go. So we've had uh, attendees from yeah. and Botswana, Cameroon, Canada, Czech Republic, Liberia, Somalia, Zimbabwe, Saudi Arabia, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, United States of America, United Kingdom, Nigeria, Germany, France, Netherlands, Turkey, South Africa, Mauritius, Finland. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I, wow. I honestly, I honestly <laughs> bow to every one of you that have made it from all of these places. To be honest, look at that time zone spread. I can see some of you have been up at night doing this. and. You know, your labor will not go in vain. So, as I often want to do, I'm going to put up, I'm going to put up a timer for just about um, one minute so that I don't speak for more than one minute, okay? So, in the next one minute, let me recap on what we've done so far. There we go. So, thank you very much and very much every one of you that have attended. We've talked about cloud and data engineering. We've talked about partnership, learning styles. We've talked about how to blog, how to do um, your signing into the LMS. But more importantly, 
we know that this journey is a six month journey and um, it's going to be hard for some people. It will start very simple and get very hard for others. It will be very, very hard at the beginning and get simpler as you go. Your journey is all different. Okay. I'm here to support each and every unique person that comes on board and the faculty is rooting for you suddenly behind you. So don't think about where you're coming from. Think about where you're going to go and write that title and put it in front of you on your wall. And at the end of this program in six months, you will make it. Thank you, Victor. That's my one minute done. Thank you, blessing. Thank you, blessing. Um, this is a junction where I'm just going to say thank you to every member of SEAL Academy. Um, thank you to um, our organizers on Zoo, Emeka, Joey. Thank you to all our facilitators. Um, even for, for those who um, facilitated from outside um, our current, um, from, from outside Nigeria, and even from those who facilitated from Nigeria. We want to say thank you to all of our attendees from across. I mean, we saw the we saw we saw um, the um, analytics. I mean, from different time zones, and um, you're up and running with us. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. I I I see that um, there is a little challenge with the form I just shared. Um, apologies about that. Not to worry. Um, just after this call, a mail will be sent to that effect. So please just um, ensure you respond to that accordingly. Um, you could um, share your feedback or your um, responses by written text, or you could do a video um, to that effect. Just ensure when you're doing a video, um, it's clear enough and we can also hear you loud and clear. All right, it's at this junction, um, we officially will drop the mic for um, the induction program for cohort six zero to take it program um, with a big round of applause to all our faculty members. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say a big thank you to everyone. Say a big thank you to everyone. And a big thank you to you for wanting to be part of Africa um, next good mind. Thank you very much. Um, we wish you the very best as you get onboarded and um, you pursue your career to becoming a techie. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever part of the world you've been with us from. Bye for now.